Hi, this is Senor Keeling from Monroe, and I'm here to explain to you today how to change the keyboard on a PC computer that types in English with the English characters, the alphabet, into Spanish that will enable you to use some of the characters that uh, appear in, in Spanish, and you can type your papers on. Won't this be great? Come on around now. I'll show you how I want you to do that. Now you have your open, open up your screen, start up your uh, uh, program, and go to the start menu here in the corner. I'm going to click on the start menu and go to control panel. So control panel is over here and click on control panel. It's going to give you something like this. Now if you don't have, now notice I'm going to click on this this tile right here and there are different options, different view options. I happen to have on icons right now. Your screen might say some, might have something like this. Okay? Uh, those are thumbnails. The tiles, it might have something like this listed alphabetically and so forth. So we're going to going to see which one you have. Icons might look like this. It might be set up. I don't know how you have it set up on your screen right now under control panel. It could just be a long list and you'd have to scroll down the list like this. Or the last view would be details, giving you immense details about each one. I'm going to keep it simple. I kind of like the icons, so I'm going to go with the icons. Now, on your computer, you can either go to keyboard or if you have regional and language, use a regional and language one. But some of the uh, older ones don't have regional and language setting. They're under the keyboard setting. So if you have a keyboard and no regional and language, you must enter regional language through the keyboard icon or setting. But this, this particular computer is a newer one. I have an older one that doesn't have that. But this one has both. So I'm going to go to regional and language uh, tab. I'm going to double click on that. And this is the screen that's going to come up. Here we have some tabs that are coming up. I want to go to Languages, the Language tab. So I click on the Language tab, and then it will ask for details. I'm going to click on the Details, and it will give us a long list. Uh, will give, give us details, and, and notice right now, yours will probably say English on it, but I already have Spanish traditional sort uh, listed here. But either way, it's going to be Settings, and you're going to hit the drop-down menu on the right-hand side. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this will tell you the language you have up there. Then you're going to go to Add. We ha this is the languages that I have already on the computer. I already have Spanish and English, but I'm going to add another language. Add another language. So I click on Add, and now there, there will give me the language I have right now. And click on this drop-down menu will give you all the different languages you could add. If I wanted to put in Turkish, uh, uh, Uzbek, Latin. If I wanted to go Costa Rica Spanish. If I wanted to go to uh, Polish, I could do that too. Okay, let's go Portuguese in Brazil just to play. Now you would do Spanish traditional sort, which is the one I want you to choose is called Spanish traditional sort. Okay, I already have that installed on my computer, but that's the one I want you to click. But just to play here, we're going to go Portuguese just to keep see if you're paying attention. I'm going to go Portuguese Brazil. Okay, I'm going to say okay. I want to add input language. Portuguese Brazil. I'm going to click OK here. All right. And it should come up. Well, it should, hold on. It'll come up in a minute. And I click OK here. OK. Now you would done it, have done it for Spanish tradition. So I click OK here. And uh, X out of this. And then I'm going to X out of this. And then I will click down here. I'm going to see an icon ES because that's my uh, uh, typical language. Yours would say EN for English. Yeah, and this, this is what's going to come up on your display. Either the, the indication will be here or up here at the top. So I have now a Portuguese language installed. There are three different choices. So I'm going to go with Spanish traditional sort, which is the one I want you to add on your computer. So I have this right now, and this will enable me to type different characters. For example, if I want to type an accented vowel, I'm going to do the one next to the Enter key, this one right here, and then a vowel and the accented O will show up. Same thing if I want to accent an E. This key right next to the enter key and the letter E. Same thing with any accented vowel. This key and then the I, this key, this key and the A, and if I want to accent a U, this key and the U. Now I'm going to pass out a chart to you that looks similar, excuse me, similar, and it will show a few different keys. The different keys will be the interrogative marks. The interrogative marks will be the last two on the right here, this one and this one, the plus and the dash. These will now become interrogative marks. The upside down one is the first one, so I hit shift 
and this one next to the backspace, and an interrogative mark comes up upside down. The, the right side up interrogative mark will be the one next to it. This one right here, then the, the negative. So I put shift here, and that's that. The uh, exclamation point, which I've identified here, will be this this key right. The very last one is upside down inter interrogative. I mean, I mean exclamation point. And a couple of other keys will change. The enye, the enye is the second one over, or the one if you're typing with this uh, finger. So the second one over from the one next to the uh, uh, enter, and then the, the free space, and the one that your small finger's on will be the enye key. Okay? And that should help you uh, type all of your papers and do all of your work if you want to write in Spanish. Also, don't forget if you're communicating internationally to some of your friends and you want to send some emails in Spanish, or your Facebook and your Facebook and in Spanish, you can use this keyboard and you can show your relatives, especially your parents, how to change that over. They'll really be grateful. Thank you very much. Senor Keelan from Monroe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.